to answer to this question, let me break down the notion of a meaningful career and also give a little bit of a bigger context to it. So if we break it down, I think the first element that comes to our mind is a job, an occupation. And as we look um, at these occupations, we see that there's like starts to be like this kind of classification around this belief that some jobs are inherently more meaningful than others. Uh, same goes for industries. So working as a teacher, working for an NGO versus uh, being uh, a banker or working in a law firm. And I would like to question that because I think that this is actually even dangerous to a certain point for the mental health of certain people because I saw it, people that had beautiful occupations uh, that actually answered to needs in, in society but felt that what they were doing was not meaningful uh, because they were looking at others. I think there is this collective idea or popular idea but then really to find like a meaningful uh, occupation or job it is actually very individual choice. So from an individual point of view I would say that there are three elements that are very important. Um, so one is like is there a collective need when you look at your when you look at your occupation does it answer to a collective need be it oh, your own family be it uh, your community national level international level according to your preference on which level you would like to act the second element is then your capacities can you do the tasks that are asked of you but do you also answer or are you capable of answering to the needs that you identified through this work? And then the last is passion. Is it like within the realm of things that you like to do? And for me, it's all about finding that sweet spot. And once you find that sweet spot or that balance between the three uh, elements, it's when you have this feeling of being at the right in the right place at the right moment, which I would actually called coherence, feeling coherent. Another thing is like, it's also not about um, the fact that these three are equally present, because it can be that you're in, given the circumstances, you need to focus more on your capacities because you want to answer to need, but you lack the capacities. So you might do a job in which you learn to develop more the capacities, and then your passion might be lagging a little bit behind. But as you have this bigger picture in your mind, it is okay, so you, you still feel the balance. So it's not about having the three elements there at the same time, but actually about having a balance. Then if we zoom out a little bit, we realize that this job or meaningful job is just one element of the meaningful career. And if we look at the word career, and I think there also, again, there's a little bit of confusion because we confuse sometimes our job, our occupation with our career. Because a career, if we look at the origin of it, it's a, it's a path. So it's something that we walk. <laughs> and as we walk, uh, we develop new capacities, new, new attitudes. And in an ideal way, also a path leads to something. So, and there again is for me the bigger context of the meaningful career. It's like, it should lead to a meaningful life. But when we know something about life, it is that actually your preferences or your views change, right? Especially as you keep walking on this path. So very bluntly, what looked to, what looked to me meaningful when I was a teenager or when I was in university or when I did my first job is not anymore as meaningful to me now. So our preferences change. And so what I under, my understanding of what me, with this meaningful change. And as this changes, it is even more important, this element of coherence, because this is maybe the guiding or this North Star that I can when I look for different jobs. So in that moment, what actually happens is that a job is not anymore the, the essential element of your meaningful career but it becomes just a stepping stone in this, in this path that you walk towards this meaningful life. And in that regard, what you do actually becomes less of importance, which is quite interesting, I would say, in this disruptive age where jobs appear and disappear and where we still identify our being with the job that we currently have, right? When we ask, what, what do you do? I mean, it's one of the first questions that we ask when we meet somebody, what do you do? 
and then we you know we talk about our jobs but not who we are actually um, essentially and as we are then more focused on this question of um, coherence uh, it becomes interesting that to to think about it that maybe a meaningful career beyond being a path and an element of a meaningful life is also really a mindset question 